so after the fun that I had early in July when I went down to the Arctic town and went camping for three days, I decided I need to make a rooftop rack for my car and a rooftop tent. So, since then, I've been working and drawing. I even made myself a fancy little ruler. It's to scale. One inch equals a foot. And this looks really weird on the camera there with the light. But I've got it divided up for one inch sections, two inch sections, four inch sections, and six inch sections. So that I can draw out plans when I print out pictures of my car at that scale. Pretty genius, isn't it? Now let me show you the cool pictures. So first off, let's uh, show you my car. I'm trying to line this up with the size right there. Let's see, I want to go this way back a bit. Uh, so there's my car. Pretty slick, ain't it? Now, what I need to do is make a support that rides along the hinge here. The hinge on the top for the windshield bends a little bit, rides along that angle, and goes up to my roof rack, which I also need to make. Then extends down on this side and either anchors to the frame, which gives me a bit of an issue because it's anchored to the frame here and up in front it's anchored to the body. And the body is on the frame with some rubber bearings or rubber bushings. Or I can just anchor it down to this whole wall and stick some bolts through there. Both of which are probably just as strong, but I was in an accident. Well, somebody smashed into me. And uh, let's get this back over that bad boy. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure if that'll fit. But. So here's my car. Here's what the rooftop tent will sort of look like on top of it. Sort of like that, to an extent, if I could line it up properly. There we go, it'll look sort of like that. It'll be a four by eight base on the tent. And then I'm thinking I'm just gonna do three feet tall, because it really is just for sleeping in and not much else. But I think it'll be pretty sweet. So let's get a closer view at how it's gonna fit. And I don't know why I'm talking like this. So, right next to my car. I like my car. Here's how it's going to attach. Let me grab the brackets out of here. Here's bracket lower hinge. It's made out of that 11 gauge steel. And it just lays right on top of there. Bolts get extended a little bit. And then this piece is actually going to be pushed out a little bit farther. And that will allow for a vertical one inch square tubing to run up to here. Where it will then er, get the uh, bend introduced to it. And then it will run right along the outside of my windshield. So that should I ever need to take my windshield off or fold it down, I still have that availability because it's anchoring down here. Now let me see if I can find my other piece here. So, this piece I've yet to cut down to size. I designed it and it was too long, but general idea still holds true. That'll fit on just like that. Square tubing goes right here, runs down and meets up with that other piece, and then runs up to the top of the vehicle. From the top of the vehicle it runs across to back over here runs on down it's a bit of a standoff over here so i can still work with my soft top and then either it'll be getting bolted right into here or and let me adjust my camera a bit here it'll run down and then bend underneath and anchor to here on the frame there we go here on the frame now, as you can see, this isn't quite as square as it should be because when I was rear-ended, she sort of smashed that up. So, maybe easier 
just to go to the body but I don't really like how wiggly that is other side same except I've got this other bracket here and the body is still kind of wiggly on that side too so I haven't decided yet which way I'm gonna go on the back but when I start working on this roof rack I really should have pulled this bars out of here because they're scratching up my my car. So this is what I'm making it out of. And uh, and I think it's I think it'll work. Um, so there's those. And here's my rusty 11 gauge plate that I'll be making the uh, adapters for the hinges and all that sort of fun stuff with. Push that back in. So with all that being said, I've got to take some pictures so I can do it before and after shoots. So let me get started on that. So maybe you're asking yourself, why am I making my own rooftop roof rack instead of just buying one? Well, two different reasons mostly. Reason number one is with the material that I've bought so far, which should basically cover the entire project except for a couple of the uh, Cross members. I've only spent a hundred bucks and I'm getting both a roof rack and then a cargo, you know, like a basket for up on the roof as well. It's not just one or two cross members. It'll be decent enough that I can actually keep stuff up there. Now, I really only plan on ever having a rooftop tent on top of my car, but I mean, it still allows me to work with what I need for a rather simple amount of time and it's cheap. Um, second reason is as you may recall from one of my earlier videos that I think had all of three or four views my car's been rear-ended and if I were to buy a manufactured roof rack I would have to modify it to get it to fit on the rear driver's side of my vehicle because a lady decided to rear end me while I was parked on the side of the street and that portion of my car is no longer straight and true and all that so I'd have to be making stuff for it anyways and it gives me a very good chance to practice some welding skills and some fabrication skills that, hey, you never know when you might need them. So that's basically the reasoning behind why I'm doing this myself. And this way I can also film and document it. And when people in the future want to make a roof rack, they can reference this video, how be it. Um, you know, I'm not a professional here and do this all at your own risk. And that, that's about it. So, I shall catch you all later.
I'm just in two-wheel drive.